Welcome into the Greater Texas Ford Dealers inaugural Female Athlete of the Month. From Texarkana to El Paso, the Panhandle to San Angelo, the Permian Basin to East Texas, Waco, Wichita Falls to Lubbock, and many points in between. We celebrate the remarkable achievements of female high school athletes based on performances on and off the field and courts. From Class 6A to private schools, it's the Greater Texas Ford Dealers Female Athlete of the Month. Joining me now, the Class 2A Greater Texas Ford Dealers Female Athlete of the Month, the one and only Callie Speesmaker from Bruceville Eddy. Congratulations on this prestigious honor, Callie. What does it mean to you? Uh, it, it means a lot. It just shows that the, what I've done so far is really being looked at by other people, and it's just, a, it's just an honor for me. You know, your career is absolutely remarkable. I almost want to take a knee because I get tired thinking about all the things that you're doing. You're basically an MVP caliber player in all sports, volleyball, softball, basketball, cross country, track and field, competitive cheerleading, where you're the team captain. Is there anything that you can't do? Uh, I, I think there is, but I try my best at everything that I that I'm put into. How are you able to excel in so many different sports? Um, I think it's just all the practice I put in for so many different things because a lot of the aspects of each sport go into one another, so it just helps out. How are you able to juggle all of it? Because I know there's so much off-season training, the practices. I mean, I can't even imagine your calendar and how you keep up with all this. Um. It's just a lot of working with coaches and then having help from my parents get practice on and off the field or the court. You also do so well in the classroom. Why is that so important to you? A student always comes before athlete. You can't go anywhere without being a student first. You know, the one thing that's really impressive to me is, you know, there are kids that will play a lot of different sports and, and they're just okay. But you excel at such a high level in all of these sports. I mean, to think that you've played varsity volleyball for three years, four years of varsity in both basketball, track, and field. You're the captain of the cheerleading team. How do you think you've been able to pull all that off? I think it's just the practice and pushing myself to get better at everything that I do. Are you? Would you say you're self-motivated? And, and where does that come from? Um, I would say I'm self-motivated, just always wanting to make myself better before I can make others better. I get the sense with you, too, that probably nobody pushes yourself more than you. Would you say that's a fair assessment? Yes, that is a very fair assessment. <laughs> What's it like? Is your mind just constantly thinking about, OK, what can I do here? What can I do there? Uh, am I looking at the tape that dad shot? I mean, what what kind of things go through your mind? It's just watching film, getting feedback from coaches and from my parents, always telling me what I could fix instead of what I did good. Your coaches always talk about how you're so loved by your teammates. And that's not an easy thing to pull off when you're the it girl. You're the target. Every competition that you go into, people are like, we got to stop that girl. And at times, that player can be a little selfish, but you are not. How do you pull that off where you're so loved by your teammates? I think it's just being humble and not being too proud of the things I do, but also being proud of what my teammates do that help me get better. Does it mean a lot to you how they feel about you? Yes, I, I don't know what I would be without my team. Who are some of the teammates that you're going to remember the most when you look back at your athletic competition in high school? Um, I would say... Uh, Elena McCullough, Riley Rodriguez, Camby Diaz, Maya Corona, just people that I've played with for a long time and then new friends that I've made recently. Do you feel fortunate to be in that community and be, a, you know, it's such a family community there in Bruceville, Eddie. Do you feel fortunate and blessed to be around those, those great people? Yes, I do, especially coming from a small town. These friendships mean a lot to me. 
I think about your cheerleading competition and you have been at the highest level with the FCA and traveled all over the country. You've been in competition in Fort Lauderdale in Florida. You've been to Hawaii. You're going to go to Hawaii again in December to compete. Uh, ever in your wildest dreams, did you think cheerleading would take you to all these amazing places? No, I did not even know it was a thing to be able to go somewhere from cheer camp. It, but I'm glad that it has happened for me. And usually when you see that with the FCA, you know, it's the bigger schools. It's the class 6A schools. Your school is a 2A school. How do you think your cheerleading program has been able to pull that off and compete at the highest level in the country? I think it's just trying our best to match up with the bigger schools and just show why we deserve it too. You've been a multiple champ in the jump off. Tell me about that in the cheerleading competition. What goes into that? Um, I've always been good at jumps. It's been my favorite thing about cheer since I've done Pee Wee. just always stretching and just telling people, Hey, look at my jumps. I, let me just show you it real quick. And I never thought that I would win two times. It is impressive. And, and yet you got to be careful too, because you don't want to twist an ankle or something and, you know, and hurt yourself for the other sports, right? Yes. <laughs> well, they say your work ethic is absolutely unmatched. Where do you think that comes from? I think it's from my parents always pushing me to be better and then having two older brothers that you're always trying to be. So that just has helped me a lot. You know, I think about your brothers and they've been great role models for you. What have you learned about uh, their athletic competition that you've taken into yours? I've learned that no matter how good you are or what you're doing, that you are always going to have family there to keep pushing you and just to always try your best no matter what. I know your dad has been instrumental in everything that you've done. He's been a lifetime coach for you, both on and off the playing surfaces. What has he meant to you and made you such a great athlete? Um, He's just, he's been that voice in my head that always has kept me going that no matter how good or bad I'm doing that he's there he's telling me what to fix, what I need to do to get better, or just telling me that, okay, you're doing fine. Just keep going. You, you know that you can do it. He always talks about what a coachable kid you are. And, and that's kind of a hard thing to pull off, you know, because usually the great ones don't want to be coached by anyone, but he talks about how when you're in the huddle, you're listening to every single word the coach is talking about to make yourself better. Uh, why is that so important to you? I think that's important. That's important to me because they're the coach for a reason. They they know what they're doing and their only goal is for us to win and to make each one of us better. I know your mom has been very instrumental in all this as well. She's driving you all over the place. You know, from Bruce Villetti, you got to drive some places a little bit. How about her sacrifices and what she's meant to you in all this? I would not be where I am without my mom. She is my biggest cheerleader in the stands. She always knows how to make me feel better after my worst games. And I'm just so thankful for all that she's done, especially driving two plus hours to games that I didn't think that she would have. She loves you. There's no doubt about that. Well, I'm a big stat guy, and I keep thinking that there is no one like you in the state of Texas. I mean, think about this. You're approaching 1,000 points, 600 rebounds, 200 assists, 300 steals in basketball, 226 kills, 250 assists in volleyball. You're approaching all kinds of school records in the triple, the long jump, the high jump, remarkable times in the 200 meters, the 400 meters. When you have all these stats out there, do you think about personal goals? Do you have like a list and say, all right, I want to get here or I want to get there? I mean, how does all that work? Um, I've always wanted to reach a thousand points in basketball. I've done it since I was little and did not think I would be this close in high school in all honesty. And I've always wanted to get to state in triple jump for track. So it's just trying to push myself to get there. Cause I know I'm, I can do it. And I'm close. Most kids in the state of Texas, once they find a sport, they like, they kind of stick to that sport. And that's the sport that they play in the off season. And they kind of do it year round. How are you able to pull this off and excel in so many different sports? Because you can't really focus on one, and yet you're the best in everything that you do. I think it's just putting in practice for 
the upcoming sport while you're doing another one. My parents make me do 50 shots, even though it's volleyball season, or they'll make me go run outside or strengthen my legs for track during basketball. It's just keeping up the physical aspects you need for the next sport. I know you're on student council as well, and you're a big time leader at your school. Um, why does that mean so much to you? Um, it means so much to me because I want my my school to back me up in whatever I do. So I know if I back them that they'll do the same for me. Do you like being there for your teammates as a leader? Yes, I do. I I love my team and I'm there for them in anything that they need. What is the biggest message that you give your, to your teammates to achieve that next level? Um, Just lift each other up and never give up. I know you're an active member with your church and the FCA. How does faith motivate you to be the person that you are? Um, God is amazing. He pushes me every day. He is there for me. And he is just the light of my life that I follow. And I try to get everyone around me to follow. Bruce Valetti is such an interesting community because it's so small. It's all about family. Everybody knows everybody, and they know everything that everybody's doing. It's a small class 2A school. How do you feel that community kind of separates from everybody else in the state? I think it, just like you said, we're one big family. We, we fight like a family, and we're together like a family. But I, I love my town, and I wouldn't imagine myself anywhere else. Well, such a pleasure to talk to you. Continued success, and congratulations on being the class 2A Texas Ford Dealers Female Athlete of the Month. Thank you. Your Greater Texas Ford Dealers is so proud to recognize the hard work, dedication, perseverance, and passion of so many Texas high school female athletes who inspire us all. Here's this month's winners. And don't forget, you can see their interviews at Greater TX Ford for Greater Texas Ford Dealers. From Class 1A to 6A, plus private schools, we celebrate them all. Thanks so much for watching the Greater Texas Ford Dealers Inaugural Female Athlete of the Month. See you next time.